I believe you said there was about a two inch difference in height between these two guys. It looks like more. So, Mr. Walker's pretty tall. He's pretty amped up too. They had, they had to stop him and tell him he can't wear the shirt into the cage and he's got to have some Vaseline on the face there. Ben's not want to make eye contact here. I think it might have been chin contact because I don't think he was looking up at him. <laughs> Ben looks kind of comfortable, and Mr. Walker just comes straight in. Yeah, you know, he's, he's going to want to use that, that range because Ben's obviously trying to get him down to the ground here. Guillotine. Wow, standing guillotine. Standing guillotine. Ben's trying to elevate him a little bit to release some of that pressure. Ben can't get the leverage on him because he's so tall. Oh, he gets the arm over, though. He's bringing him down. Bringing him down, yep. Relieving some of that pressure, but... He might turn around and get the guillotine back. <laughs> that would there be crazy. He still looks like he's working under the crotch here, trying to elevate uh, Daniel up off the ground. There you go. He took him down. You know, Daniel actually has his leg over. Perfect for a triangle if he can get the other one out of uh, Ben's legs. Looks like Ben. Oh, he has it. You know, those long legs are going to help him yeah, out in this. Most definitely. Oh. That always feels good, too. If Ben could throw strikes here and go ahead and get him to worry about defending his face, he won't hit that triangle because he won't be able to stay, and then he can try to work to the side or, or stack him up right there. Yeah, and, you know, Daniel can use those long legs to kind of keep Ben away if he can recover guard here. But Ben's doing the right thing and, and just putting pressure on him right now and working the strikes to the head. Yeah, the little short chops inside there while he's got that, it kind of gets him away from focusing on that and worried about defending himself. And he'll get back in there. There you go. He's pulling back into the guard now. Oh, we can see an Omo Plata here. <laughs> it looks like Ben's going to try and work. Oh, just waiting to see how he's going to do it. <laughs> Mr. Walker's using the fence over there, kind of walking the fence around to keep his posture in control. Ben needs to get past those legs. That ben keeps sliding over. Looks like a reverse. Oh, I thought we were going to see an inverted triangle here. Yeah, looked like it was there. Oh, ben Is looks ben? like he's trying to slide that yeah, one out from Mount. He's got him flattened out now, which is what he want to do, especially with a bigger man. So if he can get that mount and get those legs locked in. Leg through. Keep that head tucked in. Great positioning here for Ben. Oh, yeah. But he's still going for that arm lock he's there. He's up too high, though. See, he lost his balance. Now Daniel has a chance at an he Achilles lock. Oh, he's straightening that ankle out. Ben does not look worried about it just yet. Now he's just got to hold out about seven more seconds, so. Oh! Oh, 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 oh nice. Mr. Walker looked like he used all of his length trying to get all of his submission attempts and everything else working to his benefit. You know, that's a problem with putting out a lot of submissions and, uh, you know, the other guy is putting out less effort to defend them than you are trying over and over again to complete them. Yeah, and it gasses you out, especially if you stick with the same submissions over and over and over and over. It's tough, so. Actually, guys, both guys are kind of breathing hard. That, that first guillotine was locked in pretty wood. And uh, I, I saw Ben's face turning red there. Yeah. He powered through it. He had that leverage from the height, and when you get that thing standing that way, especially the guy even just two inches, that's hard to get away. But he did the right thing, putting his arm over, trying to bring his head down, keep the pressure off that neck. So that saved him so he could get into the second round, and we'll see what happens here with Ben this time. Maybe he can get inside and stay away from that length. 
Well, uh, Daniel's going to try and use that range. As, uh, he's throwing straight, st straight strikes. You know, that's good. That's smart. He's going to want to keep doing that. And Ben's probably going to want to get this back down to the ground. He had some success with his uh, ground and pound last round. Yeah, Bryn went straight in and got wrist control and then put him against the cage. And let's we'll see how his takedown. Right in that position there, if he sweep his leg with the, the wizard position, he could take him down. So he's dropping down for a double leg. Look at that. Nice transition. Ben's Belly working shots. the body shots here. Uh, he's got one arm trapped under the leg here. If he wants to try that arm lock he was trying earlier, now would be a perfect time for that. He's got to get Mr. Walker off the cage because the fact that Daniel's got such long legs, he's going to roll him over and he's actually going to get Ben on his back if he walks his feet up the cage oh, he like he's doing. coming off the glove here. Ref doesn't want to stop the action, I guess. See, now Ben can keep him turned in that position where his feet won't get against the cage. He'll keep him from pushing off on it. Oh, he's just trying to pin that arm down and get a nice little crucifix here. Oh, oh, that's oh and he's bad. not trying to work out of it. He's just taking the shots. It ain't going to take long. Oh, he's tapping out. He's tapping out. Oh, wow. Daniel Walker was tapping on the side, and the ref didn't see it from where his position was. Yeah, you know, he was, he was watching for his safety, you know, these things. Yeah, he probably took a couple Five extra shots in there, but looks like he's doing okay. Most of them were to the top of the head. He should be all right. Your winner, G2, referee stoppage by strikes. Fighting out of the blue corner. Put the hands together for Ben Gerhard. Get his first. That first round was a, a really tight knee. It, 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 you had a lot, of, a lot of submission defense coming out there. Is that something you worked on a lot for this fight? All right, yeah. One thing that we knew at our gym is no matter what belt you are, you roll with everyone. So my trainer, Jeff's a black belt. I train with him all the time. So it's definitely something we work on constantly. Yeah, that was a lot of hard to fight through all those submissions. You knew all the defenses and everything like that. You know, did you think you were going to take him out in the second round with that uh, crucifix? I, I was hoping. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, anytime someone can slip out and you can slip in, it happens. And uh, wow. that's what I went to. I actually saw you throw up a, a couple of arm locks from the top. I thought when you had the crucifix that uh, you were going to try that again. Is there a reason you just tried to pound him out? A little revenge for the submission attempts? No, actually, I was just tired. <laughs> I was too lazy to go for the submission, so I was jacked him in the face. And honestly, that was a